In response to what the CIA had accomplished with their Antarctic station in Artigas, the Soviets built a larger station in Novaya Zemlya in the Arctic. The 30,000 prisoners and an exceptionally pure gas concentration created a flesh interface which went through all seven stages in less than 13 minutes and became a full-fledged portal. Within a day, the typical fluctuating metallic cylinders were visible and within three days they were extending miles into the sky. The Soviets quickly realized that the portal was growing out of control. In previous instances, they had simply bombed the site from the air, but in this case, the enormous cylinders and attendant incident zone, extending to the edge of space, prevented this as well as missile strikes. There was also an exceptionally large lateral incident zone around the portal, with segmentation occurring miles out from the site. Alarmed by the zone's uncontrolled growth, and the growing underground tunnels, a.k.a. ant farms, the Soviets worked feverishly to construct a hydrogen bomb of unprecedented power, which could be detonated from outside the incident zone and still collapse the portal. The steady rate of growth in the incident zone provided them with an exact deadline, which they managed to meet with only two hours to spare. Any later, and the bomb could not have been placed so as to collapse the interface. In short, the world came within two hours of being subjected to an uncontrolled flesh interface, and perhaps the end of civilization as we know it. Before the portal was collapsed, however, the Soviets had gained first-hand knowledge of one of the so-called sister cities. In other words, somebody had gone into the portal and come back.